Welcome back, True Believers and spectacular Spidey fans, to another really exciting episode of Spider-Man PS4 101. So as we are now entering December, which is indeed the last month of the City That Never Sleeps DLC pack for Marvel's Spider-Man, I thought I would update all you guys as to its status regarding its development with Marvel and Insomniac. So regarding the previous status of the Silver Lining DLC, we were told in separate interviews involving Yuri Lowenthal, Brian Antar, and Bill Roseman that the production of the DLC is basically wrapping up. Not only that, but personally with Brian and Bill, they were looking at scripts and trailers regarding the last DLC for the overall game. And to continue with these numerous teases that we are indeed receiving from the development team, we do have some tweets relating to Bill Roseman and Eric Monticelli that do discuss parts of Silver Lining. So one of the tweets that came from Bill Roseman was saying, just watch the closing cinematics of Silver Lining, the third chapter of Marvel's Spider-Man, The Sea That Never Sleeps, and I Can't Stop Smiling. Kudos to Ryan Smith, Jacinda Chu, John Paquette, and Bobby Con Huntington and Team Insomniac Games for ending on a high note, hashtag Spider-Man PS4. And to basically echo what Bill Roseman stated, Eric Monticelli, who is indeed the senior producer at Marvel Games, posted on Twitter, even in its current debug state, Silver Lining is my favorite Marvel Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps chapter. Awesome work at Insomniac Games and at PlayStation, hats off to at Ryan Smith and his team, hashtag Spider-Man PS4. So not only is it great to know that the development of Silver Lining is pretty much done at this point, but it's it's also wonderful to see that the big heads at Marvel and Insomniac are really pleased with the overall DLC and are indeed claiming it as the best part of the City That Never Sleeps pack. Now in my personal opinion, I really did like the stories that came along with the Heist and Turf Wars DLC, but if Silver Lining is indeed going to be the grand finale of the City That Never Sleeps pack, I really hope that does end with a bang. Not only do I want the main story of Silver Lining to be extremely intriguing and entertaining, I really hope that the post credit scene that will indeed come with this pack is one that will leave us wanting more of the overall story for this game's universe. So if Silver Lining is indeed going to be the last bit of story expansion material for the overall world of Marvel's Spider-Man, I really hope that the ending of this DLC does set up the sequel in some really interesting way, more so than the original post credit scenes of the game. But regardless, I am immensely enthusiastic to see where the overall narrative is going to go within the story of Silver Lining. But of course, the main aspect of Silver Lining that everyone is wanting to know about is which remaining suits are we going to get within this pack? Now, obviously, we don't have any official concrete details as to what type of suits we are going to get within this DLC, but given the reaction of Eric Monticelli on Twitter, I do think we are in for a treat. So basically, fellow Twitter user Kunal Chopra posted to Eric on Twitter saying, No spoilers for the story, I've loved it so far and can't wait for the next one, but on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited should we be for the suits in this DLC? And continuing to be tight-lipped as to which DLC seats we are going to receive within Silver Lining, Eric simply posted a gif of him being extremely shocked to what the suits are for this pack. So once again, relating to the suits of the game, I found the heist costumes to be a bit average, but I do think the Turf Wars suits are much more of an improvement. And if you know me personally or have seen my previous videos, you'll be aware as to which suits I would love to see within Silver Lining, but still, I do hope that they are costumes that we have either not seen in a long time or suits that just look very visually pleasing in terms of the Insomniac designs. Mainly relating to the Turf Wars DLC, the Iron Spider armor as well as the Spider Armor Mark 1 were extremely well detailed and really well deserved to be put within this game. And as for the Spider Clan suit, it definitely is the most unrealistic one out of the entire costumes that we do have in the game, but that does make it much more unique in terms of its design. And seeing how Silver Lining may indeed be the last piece of DLC we ever get for Spider-Man PS4, which does indeed include the suits that we will receive within the game, I really hope that they end with a bang in terms of the costume selection. Either way, I've been very satisfied with these previous DLC packs for Spider-Man PS4, and seeing how the last one is going to come out very soon within December, I'm very much looking forward to it. And seeing how the Game Awards are indeed taking place on December 6th, there is a small chance that we could receive a DLC trailer for Silver Lining during the show, but we will just have to wait and see in that regard. Anyways guys, that's all the news that I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think about Bill Roseman and Eric Monticelli's tweets regarding the Silver Lining DLC, and are you personally excited to play it once it releases? For my own personal preference, I gave the Heist DLC a solid 9 out of 10 and a solid 8 out of 10 to the Turf Wars DLC. But seeing how Silver Lining is indeed the conclusion to the overall City That Never Sleeps DLC pack, I really hope that Insomniac and Marvel end on a high note. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, peace out. 
MJ, I got it. Hammerhead was laundering his counterfeit cash through here, with the help of some less than legit gambling operations. I've also got another encrypted file for you. This right. isn't about you. This is about me. Awesome, MJ. Thanks.